This is a very rare glimpse of Frank Lautenberg. Lautenberg has built from scratch one of the most successful companies in New Jersey and the nation, but not from behind a desk. Lautenberg believes in a management style that puts the manager in the field where the job gets done. Political campaigning is new to Frank Lautenberg because Lautenberg is new to politics. But Frank has applied the same techniques to his campaign for the U.S. Senate that have served him so well in business. Lautenberg has gone on the road to find out what the voters of New Jersey expect of their next U.S. Senator. The campaign has also brought an unexpected dividend, a chance for Lautenberg to renew old friendships. Is your father Eddie? No, Mitchell. Mitchell. Do you know Eddie? Yeah, that's my uncle. Oh, I know Eddie. We went to school together. Right. Yeah. Is he still around? He has a store right on 10th and he's 28. Is that right? I don't yeah. have to go in to see him. We graduated in uh, 1937. You can't even count that far back. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Now, did you graduate school six or where? School six, right. Okay, right. I had moved by then, Ed, right. and I lived on 18th Street. I went to school number 21. 21. But the same yeah. exact... That's right. So yeah. you're 32, too, huh? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you. This is we, good to see you. God bless you. Well, thank right. you, Eddie. Okay. And, uh, I have met people who I went to high school with. I hadn't seen I graduated high school in 1941. So long time ago, uh, people, who I, uh, people who I met in the service and people who I met from different walks of life. And it's nice in, in an audience someplace and someone walks up to you and says, listen, I, do you remember me? Did you know Mr. Mays? Remember he was the furrier in Berg? Right. Do you oh remember me now? Mr. I'm his daughter-in-law. Right. Oh my gosh. Hi, Hi there. Abby. How are you doing? I was down in South Jersey, Cumberland County. Almost 18% of the people mm -hmm. unemployed. The fifth worst county in the country and no place to go. People have been out of work a year, don't see any prospect for a job. Unemployment benefits running out. I frankly think the government's got to be more responsive. I think that we have to have uh, a different uh, system of taxation. I don't think that we can expect the, uh, the ordinary working person to carry so much of the load. I think the larger corporation has to do its fair share. But then the government has to step in and do its fair the share, right? Fair right? Okay. right? We got to be able to get back some of what we send down to Washington. You know, we're 45th in the country in terms of return on the amount of taxes that we send. 45th. Return on investment. Lautenberg has spent a lifetime preparing himself to deal with what turns out to be one of New Jersey's toughest problems, getting its fair return out of the money it sends to the federal government. If business uh, goes out of business, small business, you, you know anybody has got a small business, they got plenty of problems today. And I think that, in my view, I'm a Democrat, but I'm a, and I'm a businessman Democrat. There are not too many of them. But I believe that unless everybody in the society has a fair chance at it, you have nothing. Okay, you can't separate and be rich and live off in the, in the, the wild blue and not feel what's happening to the working person. For all practical purposes, the automobile was invented here. And yet we see today more and more competition. Look around you here. We're here in a sea of automobiles made abroad. Americans can make a product with the same quality as anybody else, and we can also compete on price. Once we get ourselves, government, business, and labor together on a common mission, hell, we can beat the pants off anybody else. Just get it down there. Give us a chance. That's what we're looking for. That's why I'm running for the United States Senate. Lautenberg has already That's developed a plan about. designed to put New Jersey back to work. What you take out, you got to put back in. From yeah. Nothing comes nothing. That's the same <laughs> plain and simple truth. <laughs> what you take out, you've got to put back in. Lautenberg feels that sentiment has guided his personal decision to enter public life. He feels a responsibility to pay back some of the debt he and his family owe New Jersey. Running for the Senate, uh, it's a whole different experience. I never ran for public office before. <laughs> I had plenty of private office. You, you got a lot of work ahead of you. A lot of work, but it's worth it. Uh, it's an investment in our country. It's an investment in our state. I believe in this state. It's been very good for me. The country's been great. My parents came as immigrants. I succeeded like nobody ever believed before. So why shouldn't I give back some, some of that which I took, right? I wish more people would feel that way. Yeah. All right, sure, it's nice to okay. see you. Thanks Thank very you. much. Very good. Bye -bye. Frank Lautenberg for New Jersey. New Jersey first. Millicent Fenwick has supported cuts in Social Security. Frank Lautenberg will never turn his back on Social Security because he understands our debt to our seniors. Listen, I feel my obligation to the seniors is the same as my obligation to my, my family, my mother, my father. They helped me get started, and you're the people who helped build this country, and we can't, at the time when you need help back, 
walk away. Lautenberg is ready to fight for Social Security in the Senate. Frank Lautenberg, New Jersey, first. One of the reasons that I'm working so hard to be the next United States Senator is I think we can do things better in government. I think that we can improve what we're doing. I think we can speak better for New Jersey. I think we can get business coming back to New Jersey. And I think young people ought to be able to believe, like my parents did when I was growing up, that there's a chance in America if you get an education, you get some training. Education and training, two keys to Frank Lautenberg's plan to put New Jersey back to work. Frank Lautenberg, New Jersey, first. Matthew loves to play at work. But Matthew's parents worry that when it comes time for him to put away his toys and take up the real tools of work, that there will be no jobs for Matthew. Frank Lautenberg has spent a lifetime creating jobs and cares about the future of children like Matthew. Millicent Fenwick, on the other hand, has voted against jobs. Frank Lautenberg wants a New Jersey where work will be available for all who want to work. Frank Lautenberg, New Jersey, first. I don't need to tell you that we're facing tough economic times in New Jersey and in the rest of the country. If we're going to solve our problems, we need people like Frank Lautenberg in government. He understands the economy, understands what it means to create new industries and new jobs. I know Frank. He has the background and experience to get things done for New Jersey. So join me on November 2nd and vote for Frank Lautenberg for U.S. Senate. Bill Bradley and Frank Lautenberg, New Jersey first. Millicent Fenwick says, trust me. But let's look at the nuclear freeze issue. Just this year, she co-sponsored a massive arms buildup. She co-sponsored a bill for an immediate nuclear freeze. And she co-sponsored a bill against an immediate nuclear freeze. You figure it out. Where is Millicent Fenwick on the nuclear freeze? Frank Lautenberg, New Jersey first. Frank Lautenberg, you know he's for real. Born in Patterson, working class family, founder of a high-tech New Jersey company. He wrote the right to know law to protect us against chemical accidents, the national leader to end dumping of sludge and medical waste. Endorsed by every major environmental group, raised the drinking age to save over a thousand lives a year. Endorsed by the New Jersey Fraternal Order of Police because he's tough on crime. For us, for real. Frank Lautenberg, New Jersey first. Who cares more about New Jersey? Senator Frank Lautenberg has fought for New Jersey his whole life. He wrote the law to save young lives by raising the drinking age, banned ocean dumping, protected our families from chemical hazards. Pete Dawkins? He came to New Jersey to further his political career. He polled in four other states before finding his way here. Senator Frank Lautenberg, a fighter for New Jersey. Pete Dawkins, whose future will he fight for, ours or his? Frank Lautenberg, New Jersey first. When I see the faces of our kids, the responsibility of my job comes home to me. What kind of a future will we leave them? That's why I passed new laws to get drunk drivers off the road, to get asbestos out of our schools, to ban all ocean dumping, to clean up toxic waste, to put computers in the classroom, I may not be the flashiest center, but I'm not in this for glamour. I'm in it for New Jersey. Frank Lautenberg, New Jersey first.